Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Pack on the Hermitcraft modding server and today I have a lot to show you guys. Some of it you can probably see at the bottom of the screen but here we are at the zoo again and I want to quickly thank you guys for the support on the last episode. You guys smashed that like button, you supported it and you're excited most of you to see what happens with the zoo. As am I, I have no idea how it's going to look or anything, but I thought, you know what, seeing as I've done a lot of work off camera in a live stream, I got a little bit carried away, I'll be honest, not much behind me has been done, but in front of me when I turn around, you'll see that a lot has changed, in fact, one of those things is right behind me. Yes, this thing over here in the tree right over here, this, I always want to call it a honeycomb, it's not, it's a, uh, a bee nest, I guess. Um, someone's gonna be like, no, false, that's the wrong kind of nest or something. I'm sure I've done it wrong somehow, but there are some bees coming out of it, there are some down here, there's even one over here by this flower, just to kind of add something to the entrance. So then if I spin around, you'll see there's a bit of a mess going on over here, and that is because we went a little bit chisel bits mad in stream, um, and built table legs. <laughs> That's what this is so far. It possibly might be a camel, it possibly might turn into the baby giraffe that I wanted it to be. So, if the baby giraffe works, we'll make a bigger version perhaps, but for now... Yeah, I wish you could size these up, that would be wonderful. If you could make a design uh, small and then it would size up naturally, that would be kind of great. So we have that, let's put our night vision on, it's getting a bit dark. We then have this huge guy here, which was meant to be a walrus, kind of... Kind of looks like a walrus. This, this, literally, what I did here, okay, I'm gonna explain my thought process here. I put one, two, three, four, five blocks down in this shape, in like a, a long L shape, a laying down L shape. And then I added one in front, added two to the sides, and then I added flippers. Uh, with the small little chisel bit things and blow me. It's not done yet. It's still looking very square on the sides I just had to add that before I ended up my stream because otherwise it just looked very very flat Still not sure about it. I think I need to round the face out and make the face a little bit different. It's currently a kawaii Woolworths <laughs> as you can see by its cheeks, but uh, yeah, anyway, what else did I make? So if I come over here, we have a family of ducks, we have two swans over here, and then we have two mallard ducks. Uh, I guess this one doesn't look quite like the, the, the brown mallard ducks, the females, but those definitely look like the male mallard ducks. I'm really, really happy with that duck right there. We also have parts of a flamingo, which is actually over here in full. There we go, flamingo right there. It does look a little bit like a, uh, a lawn decoration, but... You know, I guess that's kind of going to happen when you build a flamingo, isn't it? We've also got a little toucan down here, and the birds actually haven't gone, gone too bad. I think that's the the biggest animal group so far that we have, plus they seem to be going the best, I think. Maybe because they're quite simple. And then we have some baby pandas, which ended up looking more like teddy bears than pandas. But this one over here is holding a bamboo, eating it, he's got it coming out of his mouth, and um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with those. So if I can build a big panda, maybe we'll use these as actual baby pandas. If not, gift shop definitely probably will need some items too, so looking pretty good right there. Let me come over to here, where this was the first thing we made in the live stream. A penguin, a baby penguin, and uh, Pingu, I guess, because let's just say I made this penguin the wrong colours, because uh, if you don't know, this is an emperor penguin, then baby pe the babies of those are grey with a black head, so that is why they look completely different, and then Pingu's just got a pink mouth, or a red mouth, or whatever, whatever kind of beak it has, I'm not even sure. Now, I think that that is all the things I built, I don't think there was anything else, was there anything else? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I definitely made a lot more than that, but, um... I'm not actually sure. One thing I did make, though, is this little crab, which, like, I did it in two seconds, and it doesn't even look like a crab. It looks a bit more like, uh, Mr. Sweet from Doctor Who, if anyone knows the, that episode. Yeah, looks like that. Um, <laughs> I've got to be honest, that's, that's all I see when I look at that thing now. I need to make it look exactly like that and randomly put it somewhere. Anyway, uh, looks like we need to definitely start work on this and start doing some planning. So what I'm going to do is start building some bridges, perhaps working out where things are going, maybe planning a uh, fountain in the middle and then we'll work on 
Whatever we fancy today, I think I'll do a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of planning, and I'll be right back to show you guys what I'm thinking of. Well, guys, it's a couple of days later, but I have been planning things out. You can also see my inventory right here that I have been using some flat-coloured blocks because, yes, we have been building some more animals, or at least working on one in particular. You can see on the minimap, actually, the minimap is looking pretty great. Look at that. We are planning out where things are going, and actually... To be honest, it, dep it really depends on how like quick these things take, but I think we've already spread out more than I expected in the first place. So, I mean, yes, we haven't actually built the things in this area that we've built, but it is going to look pretty awesome if we do get to fill up a large area. So, let's have a quick turn around and see what I'm standing on. Okay, so that is my plan for the fountain. I think for that, though, I think I might work a lot on that in the live stream because... It's quite a big project, and I want to use chiseled water, um, and I think it's going to be one of those things that's quite large, so the progress on it is going to be quite slow. Although, really, what I can do with this is build a quarter of it, or even maybe even even an eighth of an eighth of it. So from there to there, uh, build this section, then copy it all the way around. It'll be a repeating pattern. But my idea is to make quite thick walls here, maybe about half a block. Um, fill this all with actual water and then as I work up the water will get smaller and smaller and be chiselled rather than uh, actual flowing water in Minecraft. You'll also be able to see in the corners that I have planned out where some buildings are going to go. I think that one might be the gift shop although it's quite large. Uh, they might That might be like a, a hot dog stand or ice cream stand or something. Maybe I might move that to there and that uh, have another one there as well because it's not a big area. There might also be another bridge down there, further down, who knows. Um, then we've got a building there and a building there, which I think these two are the same size, so we could put toilets, so female, male toilets perhaps. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, I've also planned out where the bridges are going to go. I might decorate those as well a little bit more. And then where these stone pillars are. I'll be adding some more of these, I'm sure. Uh, these are going to be where the lamp posts are going to go. Because I will be designing a lamp post for around the area. And we'll kind of just copy paste it all the way around. And yeah, I thought I would just put little uh, little things in place for now. So that is what's going on in here. But the more exciting stuff is happening over there. Can you guys see that? Oh, okay. So in the last clip, I think, because it is a couple of days later, I think I basically showed you the table with legs. The table with legs now looks a lot better. And it looks exactly like a giraffe. And I'm so happy with it. Look at it. I mean, granted, it is still a bit... You know, could 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 have some work done on it. I think it's not bad. It's meant to be seen from far away. Um, I changed it to the the the, the multicolored blocks. I changed it to one eight eight on the orange blocks, and mm, they're quite flat. I mean, I know they're called flat colored blocks and everything, but they are very very flat and don't really help the shape. The shape was better when it had a bit of texture. But I think for now. What I'm doing is I'm using the replace tool here, which I learned about in live stream. I, f I didn't realize it existed. And just right clicking where I think it needs spots. So that is what I'm doing in the moment. Rendog keeps leaving and joining. Um, and uh, we just continued with the spruce uh, for the main. So that is used there and on the feet. I also want to get a lighter color yellow for the bottom half of the legs and perhaps. I mean, the problem with most color th these blocks is that. You can't find some that are really, really close to each other. I mean, I mean, you can. And I kind of want to, like, replace some of it and make it kind of a fade, more gradient. But I don't know. I think that once I have the spots, it'll look okay. And, yeah, we'll just copy-paste this one here. That is it without the spots. And uh, what I'm going to do now is work on the giraffe, show you guys the finished giraffe, and then I think we need to start planning out perhaps where things are going. I'm not really sure. I've written a list now, though of all the different areas I want to have in the zoo. So we're going to have like a large mammal area which will have elephants and giraffes and rhinos and things. And then we'll also have um, areas for like uh, reptiles and things like that. So we'll have kind of a nice mixture of things going on. So anyway, let me work on this. I'm getting way too into this right now with the giraffe and um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's looking. Okay, we are done. A giraffe complete. Looks pretty good, I think. I've added a little bit of a lighter block. I found one that was uh, fairly similar to what I have right now. 
And I think it works really well. Um, now the whole thing is built out of pretty much all the flat colour blocks except for the spruce, which I've used for the hoofs, the main, the top of the and and, and he said antennas. <laughs> oh god. Well, actually, I don't even know if they have a name. They probably have a name because it has ears as well. Um, the horn horns are they horns? Oh, man, my my animal knowledge is is has got very rusty recently. I don't watch animal programs as much as I used to, and then uh, their eyes, which are kind of they look good. It, it's meant to look good from far away. I mean, I think it looks pretty good from far away. I think it looks really good. And we can change the tail, make it kind of come out a little bit, move one of the legs more forward. Um, when we make uh, other ones. Uh, this is basically the template. Although, when I first did this and turned it yellow, it kind of just looks like I'm going to make a, like a Lego land kind of thing. Because <laughs> it's the right kind of the, the right kind of colour for Lego, pretty much. So, yeah, we're not making Lego, we're making a actual animals, it's real! You could, you could look real from over here. Uh, that's why I'm staying so far away from it. Yeah, I don't know if its mane needs to go a little bit further down. Like, uh, it kind of stops b before kind of this lump here that they have on their backs. Uh, I do need to make some babies, though. I think that this one's going to be an adult. I don't want to make anyone bigger. Yeah, that'll, that'll work for the adult. Uh, and then maybe we'll make one that's about that height, perhaps, uh, for a, a kid. But yeah, that is that on the giraffes. I don't know what I want to do now. I'm kind of in the mood for more chisel and bit stuff, but I feel like we also need to build some houses. So depending on how much time I have, I'm going to check the time in a second, uh, we will get on with one of those two projects, perhaps. Also, I feel like I need to move my giraffe over here with the rest of the animals, but I think I'm going to have to leave it there just because... Yeah, this thing isn't like flat pack furniture, it is actually in probably at least 10 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, maybe like 25 pieces at least. <laughs> okay, not moving that thing, it's going to stay there until we have a pen ready for it. Which maybe goes over there, because that's quite nice with the little acacia. We'll see, I'm sure. So I've attempted to start making a fountain. I'm not keen on this part of it, although I do quite like the using the, what are these, the half size cubes? I think the half size cubes anyway, yeah, um, all the way along. Now I've started using marble for this, seeing as though I've got a lot of stone already and uh, I guess there is some lighter stone here which matches the marble quite well. So I've kind of started using uh, chisel bits, um, the stone slabs there. Uh, I've covered them over with marble on top, which I might change, who knows. Uh, and I like how that looks. What I'm planning though, before I start doing it all, ooh, I do have, seem to be full on the bits though. I should put some in a chest. I guess get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of those. They're the ones I don't need right now and I will need uh, probably just these two. We're using marble pillars and uh, the ornamental in the Greek ones. And which which probably don't really go together very well, but uh, yeah, kind of. I, I almost want like a a smooth kind of pattern, but I don't think it's going to work very well. I think it's going to be better to use perhaps just full blocks, which I might try. Let me quickly get removed that, 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 and that, and maybe that as well. See what this kind of thing might look like. It might look better if I do that. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent certain. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> I think we're trying to pick it up and it won't actually be picked up because we don't have enough space. Okay, the fountain is looking somewhat better. It still needs a bit of work. Um, definitely needs water. Definitely needs a floor first. That's why I haven't done the water yet. And I think it's going to look okay. Marble may be maybe not quite right for this area, but I think once I've tweaked this a whole bunch... We should get something pretty good. I'm starting to add a floor to this section here. I don't think I actually want this floor here, so let's get rid of that. Um, yeah, so that's the idea. That I need to build some kind of faucets that kind of are going to be leaking water um, outwards. So that's what I need to go do. I need to go get a chisel and bit water tank thingy, my bob. Um, but pretty happy with it so far. The shape's definitely where I want it. We can always add and take away things or even replace blocks if we want to. So as long as I've got the main shape sorted, I am good. I really, really like this interior kind of trim that I've added. Um, I think it looks really good. Uh, some of it might be a little bit wrong. I see this little area over here that doesn't look quite right, but that's fine. I can easily, uh, tweak that with the replace tool, draw section, and I think if I do that... 
should that's the wrong <laughs> that's the wrong one that's the only problem with the, these things it's like they're just completely completely the wrong thing maybe this one no, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. It's going to be filled with water. It will probably... I'll probably add some mossy stuff in between. Inside, we also need to add lighting because it's very, very dark right now. And, um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in when I've got the water in the bottom. And we've added a floor. And, yeah, just need to need to work out where the water's coming from and stuff. Because this looks great, but we need to work out where the water's falling from. And we need to make it look natural. Because if it doesn't look natural, we have failed our mission. Water has been added, not much has been done with the top yet. I do plan on building something cool looking at the top um, and having the smaller streams of water come out. But here, what I've done is I've started using chisel and bit water. This is what that is. I, can I go through it? I can still go through it. It does still act like normal water, which is awesome. Super awesome. One thing that sucks though is that because I didn't realise this, because I've left half slabs there, vertical half slabs there, when I replace them with water, it doesn't actually work, and it also doesn't really line up properly. That's as close as you can get to the actual water, which, even from above, you can tell that that is not real water right there. So, we're going to have to think up a better way of doing that. I think I'll just um, fill it in with blocks and figure something out with it. I'm not, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. We'll do something with it, though, I'm sure. But yes, I am currently planning on making water streams come through this gap here. I need to fill in these sides here and here. I need to fill in as much of this middle part as possible and just kind of just do the finishing touches and do the water streams. I'm planning on having it come from about, from maybe, maybe up here actually, it lines up with this. Coming over that and then in here will be a big bowl full of water and then small streams going up to the top. I'm gonna just focus on it for a while because it's it's, it's doing my head in a little bit, and also I need a lot more water uh, for this, because if I right-click it right now, as much as it's coming out slowly, that isn't an awful lot. Uh, it'll only give me maybe one block full. It's basically exactly like the same as a block. Um, so it gives me f this much of it, I think. Uh, I don't think I can get... <laughs> I'm in a bit of trouble here, though. There we go. So that See, that looks okay if it lands on top, but... That's also, I think, the angle of it. Um, yeah, this might look quite nice, but I think I've run out of water already. Yep, doesn't give me an awful lot. So, bear with me a moment. I'm going to go take this uh, over there, fill it up with water, grab all the bits, and um, we'll be well on our way to having a f cool looking fountain. It looks really good from over here, actually. I'm quite the fan. The fountain is almost done, it still needs some lighting, it's going to be very very dark soon so we'll keep the night vision on. Uh, so this is the how you get the chiseled bit of water by the way, you need to make a chiseled fluid bit tank, put any fluid in there pretty much, you can put slime and stuff like that so you can get some interesting fluid. Uh, it also has the uh, same texture as water and it also looks like it's flowing like water so this actually is basically just water but smaller. Uh, which is really, really nice. So I've added this little extra bit on top here. They've even added this little detail as well. And um, I think it looks nice. You can see through it. It kind of is all travelling through. And basically, I guess... What do I want to do to this now? I need to add more detail. I want to add some sort of perhaps... I don't know if I could make a small animal on a, on a diagonal here. Why is the water... Did I just miss that? Did I completely miss that? That's, that, that, that's I guess, likely. Uh, let's uh, see if I can add that. There we go. You you definitely run out though. Like I run out of water so quickly. Uh, I'm gonna leave some on the floor because at least I'll pick that back up. Fill that in there. Fill that in. Fill that in. Yeah. You need you need so much water. It's ridiculous. That's why this is taking so long. But pretty happy with it. I'll work on it a little bit more and then I'll show you guys maybe what I've done. But I think for the for the extra extra details, I might have to. Uh, do it off camera, but pretty happy with that so far. That and the giraffe are pretty good things to get done today. Pretty happy with those, but um, yeah, progress is slow. I think what we'll do is try and do a building and then a chisel and bit episode, and then a building and then a chisel and bit episode, um, and kind of mix it in, guys. But anyway, that is sadly all I have time for for today, guys. I'm so sorry. It was a bit of a mini episode. This week has been a bit crazy for me, getting everything sorted, everything planned for uh, next weekend, where I shall be in Dublin for my invention. There are still tickets if anyone, if anyone wants to buy some. 
Um, they I believe are on sale. There will maybe maybe be a link in the description if I remember. If not, go to my invention, uh, their website. And um, yeah, this fountain is looking pretty snazzy. Just really need to add some special lighting and some lamp posts, and this will definitely start looking like the grand entrance of an awesome zoo. But that is it, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.